Well, thank you. Well, I am passionate about my music and the songs and the projects that I come up with. When I first started, I was passionate because I just wanted to express myself. I had a hard time with just, you know, talking to really express myself. So by me drawing and writing short stories and producing, and of course, you know, it, it evolved into to rapping, I could express myself more for some reason. I guess I'm just that, that artsy type of person. And Lady Cam it stands for uh, a classy woman who gets it, got it. Basically reaching towards the goal and uh, finding and achieving success and celebrating. And of course inspiring other people to do that as well. <laughs> Well, being a woman in the industry, of course you're going to have that extra pressure because a lot of times people don't like you just because you are a female. And especially if you're an attractive female, then it, it not necessarily makes it harder, but you just have to learn game. You just have to know how to talk to people, you know. Um, well, thank you for telling me that I held it down for the ladies. <laughs> um, but with that, with that particular track, Get It, Got It, uh, I felt that men and the women can feel that type of track because everybody has goals, they has dreams, they have inspirations, things they want to achieve out of life. So Get It, Got It, that's a, like a universe type of record. Everybody's working towards something, hopefully. <laughs> but being a female in the industry, you just have to be, I would say, a little more careful. Um, different things that I'm learning myself. Uh, coming into the industry on the on a major scale so I mean it, it just comes with the territory you know certain things you don't want to do because you're a female um, and certain things we can get away with because we're female so it kind of works out <laughs> it depends on you know who you're surrounded your team and who's backing you who's behind you so that plays a lot of a role with that but yeah I mean you know you just gotta know how to play it Now, creating the record, Get It, Got It, uh, I, which I produced as well as wrote, I write all my material, no ghost writer needed or included. <laughs> but um, at the time, I was working a 9 to 5, and I was, uh, well, the site was letting off people, I'll put it like that. So, you know, I had to go back to making my own beats again, because I started out making beats on a PlayStation, and that's another story. So, I went back making uh, beats. I had the Fruity Loops program, opened it, started to play with it, had the little whistle track in the front, the little whistle part, was working on some drums, and I was just thinking to myself, like, man, you know, I gotta get it. And I'm like, okay, I get it. Got it, I'm here to rock your body. And every time I do it, all the people get excited, explaining, I have a dream, I get it, now I got it, and you know, it's celebrating everybody not everybody's going to like, you know, if you succeed, but, you know, we're here to celebrate, you know. And every time I do it, other people get excited. Um, and that story came from me performing as well because people would tell me, like, I would get this probably, like, at every show. They would say, I didn't even know you was a rapper. I didn't even know you. Oh, you write too? You know, they start looking at me like, eh, okay. So I'm like, damn, I didn't even know she rap. I didn't even know she write. Got a little dirty, stop swagging about like that. Make the boys want to dance all night. So that's how that came about. <laughs> so get it, got it. Make sure you get it, got it. I love LadyKim.com. Make sure you go get that. <laughs> you know, it's uh, my A project. It's called Jazz Box. This is going to be released very soon. And um, this is like a storytelling type of project. Uh, let me see. I think I have like 14 tracks on it. It's a uh, kind of jazz, like a, a jazz production, big, rich sound. And I'm basically speaking, I always speak from the heart, but it's real more depth and uh, defying different things that I was and still am going through. Uh, people ask me a lot of time, what's your favorite track? What's your favorite track? And I always say, you know, I don't really have one, but on this project, I would say I, I kind of have one, and that's, um, it's called Where You Are, and um, that song came about when I was just looking at my surroundings, and it was where I was, and let me elaborate on that. <laughs> it's, uh, it's about being in a situation that you're not totally disappointed in, but you're not where you want to be. 
So it's about embracing where you are now. So I talk a lot about life. There's this other song called Leave It. And it was a situation, once again, I was going through. And it was about leaving the past in the past so you can live in the present and, and aim for the future. You know, a lot of times we, we already have the promotion in a sense. But in our minds, we're still living in the past. So we can't really get to what we already have. Uh, yeah, I like that. <laughs> write that down, write that down. <laughs> so, you know, it's a lot of songs like that. And another song I have, uh, shout out to Raymond. He's a singer. I uh, forgot where he's from. So big shout out to you, sweetheart. He's on one of my songs, singing the hook. And it was about, it's called My Love, and it's my love for the music. And you can relate it to a relationship. Another song I have is called um, She Said, and I think I put an alternate title to that one. It's about being in a relationship and not knowing what's what, you know. So, I mean, it's just so much crazy thing. I actually, um, I freestyled off of the Stay Scheme and Be, you know, just to show them that, hey, I'm not to be played with. <laughs> so it's a lot of... It's a lot of records on there that I, I really, I'm in love with. But my favorite, like I said before, was Where You Are. Because I can just ride to that. I take my own music, put it in my whip, and just ride. You know, late night, in the morning time, it doesn't matter. You know, I love listening to my music. I am my fan of me first. People don't, I don't think a lot of times people are fans of themselves when they make their records. So, I'm a fan of Lady Cam. So when I listen to Lady Cam, I want to I wanna fall in love with it like it's another artist. So with this Jazz Box Project, like I said, it's very uh, in-depth uh, life stories, personal life stories of mine, which, of course, I know you guys are going to relate to. So I'm very excited about it. You can get it on. It's going to be iTunes, Amazon, everywhere online, as well as iloveladycam.com. That's my official website. So, yeah, Jazz Box. Oh, mm. Mm, we got the horns, got all that, you know. So, jazz box, make sure you go. <laughs> Cop that. To me, you only live once, YOLO. It means to just go out and live life because you only live once. Not necessarily doing stupid, retarded, dumb things without thinking about it. <laughs> but it means to go out and just live your life. Be you. Love the person that you are. The person that you are about to be. The person that you are becoming. Do you. <laughs> you know, so that's what YOLO means to me. Just going out and living life, not caring what, what other people say, you know, not not letting everybody ruin your life. You only live once. So, you know, take chances, take risks, um, just live and be you. And if you want to book me for a feature, show, etc., appearances, and all that good stuff, make sure you email me at bookingladycam, the number two, at gmail.com. You can follow me on Twitter at ladycam. My YouTube is backward slash L-A-D-Y-C-A-M-M. My Facebook is L-A-D-Y-C-A-M-F-B or Lady Cam Fans with an S. Or you can just save all that drama and go to iloveladycam.com and just connect with me on all my social networks. <laughs>